Yo, 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 it's D. Arthur in the building. I'm talking to you guys today about seed retention. They'll try to come back into your life. When you go on semen retention, maybe someone you had some relationships with in the past, ex crush, yada, 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 someone you have maybe some interest in, or you may used to have some interest in, they will come, they may come back into your life. Now, the reason why they may come back into your life is you no longer need them. When you go on SEMA retention, what you're unconsciously doing is bossing up your life. So when you continue to go on SEMA retention, you're subconsciously bossing up. And now since you're bossing up your life, you don't need them as much. And because you don't need them as much, they're trying to come back to your life. There's a saying called, there's a saying that says they'll always come back. They may always come back. And this subconsciously may be true. The bottom line is the, the more you, your sense be, since you're becoming better and you're caring less, she doesn't need you as much. You're becoming better and you're caring less. You don't need you. I mean, you don't need her as much. The, the slightest bit of dependency you don't have anymore because you're bossing up your life. You're becoming better. This is how you should look at it. Because you're bossing up your life, becoming an all-arounded, better person, this means that you don't need them subconsciously. You don't need them anymore. And the moment you don't need anything is when you get everything. This is how you have to look at it. And this is the, this is the quote-unquote metaphysical way to do this. So the bottom line is go on semen retention, boss up your life, and she will they may come back into your life now how how does this how does this happen when you go on and when you and what ha needs to happen is that you need to go on retention for a very long streak at least probably at least 90 days and you really have to continue to to build upon brick by brick good habits you have to build upon brick by brick very good habits for yourself meaning all things that because what's happening subconsciously is you're becoming a present in the moment highest version of yourself and because you're doing this now since you're not in your head and not since you're not attached to anything all things that you want subconsciously are going to come back to you this is this is pretty much quote unquote the secret the moment you're you're totally focused on everything that you're doing at the moment and you're not thinking about anything else except what you're currently doing in the moment is when previous things that you were previous thought patterns come into your life this, this is because you don't need it anymore think of it like this think of it like a vortex you initially give thought of something habitually you get you get um put off you get sad because it's not happening so you decide to just focus on something else so that thought goes into this thing called a vortex and now now you're going to be focusing on something else and then once you start focus on something else and then this period could take could take a period of time but once you start focusing on something else and you're consistently focusing on something else in this and your mindset you no longer care if they, they come or not you don't care about it anymore you're you're on to better and be, bigger and better things you're focusing on better things with that being said once you do this you're able what you're able to do now is allow things to come into your life the bottom line the reason why guys don't get things like this they don't come back why why the business doesn't work out why she doesn't come back while all these things don't happen is because you're too dependent you're too needy the bottom line is you have to build yourself up you build your life up to the point where you, you you're not needy at all you have no you have no dependency on anything you're you're we, we, we like to call it self-reliant you're in this indifferent state where you're you built yourself up enough where you're just very you're okay with yourself and you're independent from anything independent from her actions independent from anything like that now once you are able to do this and you can continue this and walk in this light walk in this light things are going to get a lot easier things are going to get a lot easier things will get a lot easier for you she will they subconsciously will come back into your life because they, maybe even in a sense 
she might sense that you don't need her enough. Like you're not, she's not that important to you anymore. And once they sense this, this is when they'll try to come back into your life in a subconscious way. You might come across them. They might bump into you on purpose, but act, act as if it's accidental or, or something. The bottom line, what I'm trying to portray is you no longer need them. They sense that you don't need them anymore or you don't, you may not like them as much anymore. You don't care about them as much. And then like a, like a lion chasing after its food, they will come and try to attack what they can't have. And this, this is, this is how you have to look at it. So the worst thing you can do is be dependent, be needy, be, be in a scarce mindset. And the best thing you can do is work on yourself in all aspects of your life. Be very busy with all things, improving your life. This is another thing that separates 99% of men to 1%. When maybe, for example, a woman flakes on you or she's just not carrying that interest that you thought she'd have, she's not carrying that interest, that interest is not definitely not there anymore. What tends to happen is that since she... Um, what well, because guys just think that they just need to continue to prove to her that they like her and that's not the case the case is what you have to do is build yourself up become super independent become non-needy improve your aspects of your life imp improve your wealth improve your looks improve all these things improve your physical uh stature and everything physical stature and everything and now all of a sudden they feel as if they need you more than you need them and this is the exact place where you want to be guys are too sweet there if she says things that she doesn't want to be with them they take it to heart and then soak in their sorrows and as as much as you want to do this this can't be you you have to build yourself up you have to increase something in your life things have to get, start can becoming better things are going to get better when you're on retention you're bossing up subconsciously Seeing our attention as the accelerator to a uh, to a uh, magnificent magnificent life. It's mag your life is going to be 10, 10x better when you retain and you're working on things consistently. For the first four of, four hours of your day should be scripted. You should wake up and have a four hour four hours of your day. First four hours of your day should be scripted. You should also have. Um, your clothes that you're going to use for the gym, things like that, already by your bed. Any any types of like vices, like al alk, drugs, or anything like that, that should that should be totally out of your sight. And you have to continue habitually speak about what your what your your big purpose is, what your what your big why is. You have to continually speak about that because then it shows the most side that you're serious about it and then you will start seeing these manifestations inside your reality. You have to consciously live your life a certain way if you want to get specific results. This is exactly how you have to look at your life, how you have to live your life. You have to consciously do things. If you want to be in the 1%, you have to do what 99% of the people are not doing. You have to do things like the 1%, the difference between wealthy and just like average average people is their behaviors all that all that comes down to is their behaviors their mindset and their behaviors so i mean this is the road that's traveled by but if you really want to be a part of part of the winner circle the inner circle then you have to consciously live your life you have to write things down you have to meditate you have to be non-needy you have to build an amazing life and eventually the, per the right person will come by and stick by your life this is how you have to look at it and you have to get to the point where you become so busy like you're, you're not chasing anybody so maybe if you're on a dating app or something like that at this point like you have to make your standards as she has to she has to n notify you first before you notify before uh, you um, you t talk to her this is how busy you have to get so this is what your standard is. You have to get, live your life like this. If you want to attract someone, you if you want to learn more more like this consciously and attract someone by consciously living your life, then make sure you click on that link down in the description below. 
it is a uh, it is, will send you to a document once you put your information and send you to a document that shows you how to use metaphysics law of attraction and self-improvement to attract subconsciously someone that you may desire in your life if that sounds interesting to you click on that link down below like comment subscribe we'll see you in the next one peace